Hey guys, what's up? If you love roller coasters and water slides, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Okay, so you do, you guys do remember Hang Time versus El Loco, and I said Hang Time's drop was better. But why is Hang Time's drop better? That's what we're going to go through in this video. So, first factor is height. This is important because it's the length of the drop. A hang time's height is 150 feet. El Loco's height is only 90 feet. So, hang time does get the point there. Angle of descent. Hang time has a steeper drop than El Loco because hang time's angle of descent is 96 and El Loco's is 90. Speed down the drop. I know hang time might win this one for some people, but for me, it's El Loco. It is no trim brakes, and it flies down that drop. But you'll find out what it flies into near next. Element after the drop. Hang time wins because it has an inversion, but El Loco loses because it just flies into the mid-course brake runs. One out of the two mid-course brake runs, anyways. Now, so scariness of the drop. Even though earlier I said El Loco's drop was faster, I think hang time drop is scarier. Why? It's because it because it starts up here and it looks like you're gonna fly down and die. But a loco drop you kinda just kinda crest the hill and then go down. So yes. If you haven't watched my versus video, please do so. Link is in the description. You'll see who won that fight. Spoiler alert, it was a very close fight. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, and this is Coaster Slides signing off.